In a recent video, I talked about how the 49ers under Steve Wilkes look to transition some of their defensive tendencies and one of the biggest things that Steve Wilkes is looking to incorporate more of is press man coverage. And the player that they picked up this offseason in the draft that can accomplish just that is Daryl Luter Jr. The Niners were able to pick up Daryl Luter Jr. with pick 20 in round 5. And since then, they've held rookie minicamp and Luter stood out because his arms are extremely long, he looks very comfortable in press man coverage, and appeared to have all the confidence and skill set you need to succeed in the NFL. He was locking down his competition all day. In this video, I hope to go over for what makes Daryl Loader Jr. such a good fit, especially for Steve Wilkes' defense, and go over his football career up to this point. So let's start off with some of his measurables. His height is six foot, his arm length is 32 and 3 eighths inches. That's extremely long, which is good to go ahead and get in the chest of wide receivers and make plays on the ball. He also has relatively large hands at 10 and 3 eighths. Luter Jr. ran his 40-yard dash in 4.46 seconds, but he has a respectable 10-yard split of 1.57 seconds. That should be plenty to play at the NFL level. Luter started his football career at Oak Grove High School, where he was a three-sport athlete playing football, basketball, and track. He didn't receive any major offers and went to Pearl River Community College. In two years there, he intercepted three passes and broke up the ball 14 times. Ultimately, he displayed great ball skills and the ability to really challenge wide receivers at the line of scrimmage. He then was able to move to South Alabama for 2020. He played in 11 games as a reserve that year with 28 tackles and one pass breakup. In 2021, Luter had a very strong campaign for the Jaguars, and he even got first team all Sun Belt Conference accolades after leading the squad with four interceptions and 10 pass breakups. He followed up the 2021 campaign being a third team selection as a senior, recording 42 tackles, an interception, and seven pass breakups and 13 starts. Throughout his time at South Alabama, Luda demonstrated his ability to be a long limb press cornerback with ball skills and physicality to challenge really any receiver on the outside or inside for that matter. His NFL comparison, according to NFL.com, was Christian Benford, who is an NFL starter. And in my opinion, I think Daryl Luter is even more gifted than Benford. Luter Jr. to me though, looks exactly what the 49ers want on the defensive side of the ball. He's a true ball hawk who's able to go up in there and contend with a lot of wide receivers. And I think he's not gonna get beat as much as Lenore down the field. Don't be surprised also if Ambry Thomas just gets outplayed by this guy. I think he's going to take Ambry Thomas's roster spot. Daryl Luter Jr. also fits the mold of what the Niners are looking for in their corner more than their starter right now in Lenore. I think that if he outplays Lenore, they might consider starting Luter Jr. over Lenore despite Lenore's experience. But Lenore did prove last year to be a solid corner, especially in the playoffs. He really raised his game and kicked it into a new level. Those are just my thoughts on Daryl Luter Jr. coming to the 49ers rookie minicamp and showing that he can play at the NFL level and really be a shutdown corner.